The most fascinating to me, however, yeah. is uh, Chief Daryl Gates. Yeah. He was a police chief, one of the more important police chiefs and renowned police chiefs in America, but he was also somewhat polarizing because of his level of power in the city of Los Angeles. Yeah. And I thought I, I'd really like to meet him. So you had called up the police chief yeah. of Los Angeles that you tracked him for what, a year almost? For about a year. Because some of these meetings take a year. You just to call schedule. up interesting people. I call interesting people: Nobel laureates, police chiefs, CIA directors, Barack Obama, Princess Di. I got, but but this was Daryl Gates of the LA Police Department. It was pre Rodney King. As the chief of the Los Angeles Police Department for 14 years, Daryl Gates was notorious for his hardline law enforcement tactics, such as his pioneering use of SWAT teams. In 1991, Gates faced strong criticism after Rodney King was beaten by four members of his department. He resigned in the wake of the LA riots that followed the officer's acquittal. So what makes you curious about the police chief? Well, I was curious about power. How is power integral to his mindset? And you're doing these interviews, these curiosity conversations, not because you're interested in making a a movie no, or writing no. a book or to, you just are interested. I'm just interested. So you start like a year before Rodney King. Yes. And your lunch date is set for the day the verdict comes out for the four officers. Isn't that cra it's crazy? And crazy. He did, and he didn't cancel the lunch. That's what I thought was the craziest. No, that's the craziest, that he didn't cancel the lunch. I thought, this guy's of course going to cancel because there were riots, 2,000 building, buildings caught on fire the day before, the night before, and he doesn't cancel the meeting. I can't believe it. And you go up, and there he is. Daryl Gates up. Yeah, and he's calm as could be, like a movie character, just straight ahead, straight, no, not nervous, just calm. And then he says, ask me a few questions. I ask him some questions. And a uh, Why does he think he's in a, in a conversation with you? I think he also thought that maybe I might- Maybe want to do a movie. Maybe do a movie him. about yeah. him or something. And, I, and during that lunch, didn't somebody walk in during that lunch and yeah. say, this, this, you're on TV. Yeah, uh, you know, a high-ranking lieutenant came in with really, you know, frightful. Said, you know, chief, you're on TV right now. And literally pointed to a monitor where the city council was saying, we're voting him out. And he said, felt, folded his arms like this rather arrogantly and said, not a chance. I'm never leaving this office. Whoa. And uh, six weeks later, six weeks later, <laughs> he was gone. He was a civilian. But how did that? How did that meeting, yeah. that curiosity conversation with Daryl Gates, change you or inform you? I guess I thought it fur it gave me you know further evidence that power can also anesthetize you, because I felt like he was beyond blinded by it. He was kind of anesthetized and. I later produced a TV series called 24. Yeah. And, and that's about a wish fulfillment character that breaks, you know, that kind of breaks through red tape. Because you use all that information. Yeah, I, that I used all that information that I got from Daryl Gates to inform my perspective on these other, you know, these other movies or television shows. I love what you said when you left the office. I was looking for the exact quote. Uh, what G Daryl Gates did for me, he completely disrupted my point of view, which yeah. is what curiosity does. It definitely does, because you have to enter someone else's world of expertise. This is so what I love. So you have to always live in some, you know, have to be in, you know, get outside your comfort zone. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see.